Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Savage Saturdays. It's still me. I'm your host, Derek Whita. I think we're on, what are we, episode four? four. Number, number four, yeah. Just me, flying solo again. Um, last week, we had Stacy on. That was a good time. Like, looking back, I Stacy was like... She's like, did the podcast turn out good? I was like, I don't really recall it. I did. I got pretty drunk. I think I went, I think on an empty stomach, I, I did the math. Of, you know, I had a couple beers and about seven, eight White Claws, and I started with an Irish coffee. Whew, we are recording. Um, we're recording. It's what, Friday afternoon here right now? I need coffee, man. Holy, f I'm a little tired. I was like, my, my week was just, my week was easy. It was my deload week in training. So that means like, you know, all, all my lifts are at maybe like 50 or 60%. And it's all about healing and recovering. Um, and you, you heal and recover just in time. Next week, holy fuck. Holy fuck. My training for the, I got my training program yesterday for the next, what, four or five weeks leading up to the uh, my meet on April 4th. And I'm just like. All right, don't look at it. Don't think about it. They are fucking, they're big numbers, numbers I've never hit before. I fucking, and I'm 40 pounds lighter. Anyways, anyways, um, drinking a cup of coffee. I, uh, this is my favorite mug. Oh, and if, if those of you who aren't watching this, I have this um, exclusive Black Rifle coffee mug. It's red. It was part of the coffee club member thing like a year and a half ago. And uh, it's heavy. Like this mug weighs Sorry. like seven pounds. Yeah. It fucking, I love it. And um, I'd, uh, I'm, I'm pretty generous to guests in my house. It's like my house is your house. But you used my mug like two or three times. Yeah. And I just sat there and watched. And it was like you were making out with my wife in front of me. And finally, I had to say like, Owen, I'm sorry. I don't like to be this guy. But you can't use my mug, man. This is my fucking mug, you know. <laughs> I was like, you can, you can, I was like, you can, you know, you can make out with my wife. Just don't fucking drink out of my mug. Or shit in my bathroom. Yeah. Oh yeah. I yeah. I guess they don't know. There's there's three bathrooms in my house, but one of them is just like a one fucking seater, a small bathroom, and nobody goes in there. You know what happened though? Matt Best was at my house. What? No, I I don't think he pooped in it, but but just I I didn't even think twice. He um. He, uh, he was here, what, four weeks ago or so? Yeah. And we were hanging out in the art room playing guitar and stuff like that. He's like, he's like, hey, can I use the bathroom? I was like, yeah, it's right there. And then he went in and closed the door. I was like, what the fuck? I just told him he could go in my bathroom. I fucking, we've lived here 18, 19 months and nobody has ever been one or, so Matt's the second person who's gone in my bathroom. The other one was my buddy's like six-year-old kid. And I was like, Lucky, what the fuck did you just let happen? This is a fucking, I'm like, you know, if this is Beauty and the Beast, that's the West Wing, dog. Like, nobody goes in the West Wing, you know? Yeah, get the, yeah, but I, I so like, that's, like, that's what I knew I loved Matt best, is I just like, didn't even think twice. He's like, can I use this bathroom? I'm like, oh yeah, sure, man. And I was like, what the fuck just happened? How did that, how did he naturally just get into my bathroom? You, you know? Yeah, I was like, okay, well, that makes sense. Um, dude, can you drink like hot, hot, hot coffee? No. Do you drink it right out of the, yo, you put ice in your, that's a fucking dirty move. Like, I like it lukewarm. but it waters it down. It waters down the taste you bit. put. Yeah. I just, strong to compensate. yeah, but you can't, you can't strengthen a K cup really, or no. you can do the less water glass, I guess. I don't know. I got, well, I don't know. Yeah. I don't understand coffee pots, man, but I, um, I'm, I think I'm going to spend some money and get an espresso machine. But I don't know anything about it. But I took one to Afghanistan with me. Really? Yep. But I want to. I don't want to get like a fucking three thousand dollar one. But I don't want to get a fucking two hundred dollar one. Nope. And so, but you know, luck, Stacy's like, why don't you got, talk to the guys at Black Rifle? I'm like, yeah, I should. Like, hey, <laughs> yeah. hey. So, anyways, anyways, um, shoot, fuck, shit. This is a fitness show. Um, but uh, I, don't, I don't even know if we talked about working out last week. But that's okay. Like, all I remember from last week is I fucking laughed really hard. That's funny. At, um, and it took me a while to remember what I was laughing at, and it was the yellow Ford Escort, right? Like, you know, right? Like, isn't that what I was laughing at? It was the dude yeah. parked outside the chicks. Yeah, yeah. What was the fucking? The premise of it, I have no idea. Like coming over to your, coming to your house, or I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't remember. I'll have to listen to it because I don't remember what fucking got me off, but I fucking uh, <laughs> got me off. Anyways, um, today. Today's a bit more low key. I'm not. I'm not drinking again. It's a. 
It's a uh, Friday afternoon here. I still have to work out yet today, but I like this. Um, it's uh, you know, for those of you who can't see, these shows do come out on YouTube, and I think the the podcast um, airs on Saturdays, but then the, then the the YouTube video gets released on like Monday or Tuesday or something like that. We have a nice little collection of we got a wine bottle, white claws, beer bottles, and um, instead of cleaning the desk off as we go, I think we're just gonna let this build up. And see, like we've we've totally ruined my garage, Jim. Like I have no desire to set this up and break it down all the time. So this these are all just um, these are fucking fifteen thousand dollar props behind me now, and we'll just start stacking shit in places and maybe like, like Oscar the Grouch. Yeah, and maybe in six months we just have you know we're just fucking you know we're living in a fucking room of white claws. Anyways, I did had uh, you know so I'm um, coming into uh, coming to this episode. I you know like week one we did intros, week two. Did some questions from the internet. Week three, we just had a good time. Week four, I'm actually coming with topics. There's two. There's two things I want to talk about today, um, and and we'll just get right into it. One, motivation. I'm gonna talk about motivation because it's one of the fucking most asked questions. It's 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 a sticking point for so many people, and it's one of the most misunderstood things. It, there there is like, and and I'll I'll tell you guys. Um, some stories about it and uh, a revelation I had in 2017. And then um, the other thing I want to talk about is goals. Goals, how to set goals, how to accomplish goals. And I, I kind of told Owen a little bit before the show, like one of the, you know, it's like one of the ways, one of the stupid things to do if you're setting goals. It's very counterintuitive or and it goes against what everybody on the internet is fucking saying these days. But anyways, what do you think we should start with? We want to start with motivation or goals? Let's do motivation. Motivation comes up all the time. Mm -hmm. Here's what, uh, um, and you know what, uh, looking, you know what I loved about being in the military? It just provided you with motivation, but somehow people still fuck that up. There's still people in the military that are unmotivated, but you are like, if you're in the military, like you are required to be motivated. Like if you fucking, if you know, if you have a uniform at work, that's a requirement. You can't show up in your sweats you have to show up in your uniform and so like in the military you have to show up motivated it is part of it gives you fucking motivation because you are it like it, no matter it like in the military like no matter what your job is you're a cog in the war machine the military is a war machine and you're a cog somewhere in that machine so like no matter what you if like your finance but you're a part of the war machine. And like that's, you know, it's so it's like everybody has to do their job so that everybody can do their job better. And what's the what's the overall goal? Fucking war. Okay? Like that's it. Like the goal of the military is war. People are like, well, I signed up for college. Well, like, well, unbeknownst to you, you signed up for war. You know? <laughs> like <laughs> and so you should fucking act accordingly, bitch. But um I was uh, you know, when when you know, I Misunder. I I learned this cool thing. So I, I I'll, I'll just fast forward. Um, motivation. It's funny. People um people say like Derek like I I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to do this. But I don't have the motivation. Can you help me? And here's some dude. This is fucking so. It blew my mind when I learned it. So in what December 2016 was the last time I had like a super scary run in with like I want to fucking kill myself and I didn't. I felt like I wasn't in control anymore. So I was like Stacy, take me to the hospital. And we checked me into the uh, the psych ward there. And um, um, when I was there, they assigned me to a psychologist. It had been like a year or two since I saw a psychologist, recent, you know, mm -hmm. regularly. And uh, I got assigned to this psychologist, and, and her name was Amanda. So I was seeing her weekly in 2017, and I she was fucking great. Like sometimes psychologists are hit or miss, man. Oh. And even though if they're good, even if they're good people, good psychologists, maybe you're just not a good pair, you know. But like what she taught me was fucking awesome like she hit me with the latest and greatest science and things like that so one of the things I must have been talking one day about like how I just don't feel motivated I don't have desire to do things and she was like what do you think motivation is and just like everybody else I was like well it's like what, what do you think motivation is like people think we think it's that good feeling how often does that good feeling happen it doesn't happen very often you know so um mm, that's good coffee the black rifle which one is it? Just black. Always. I, I, I only drink the just black. It's my favorite, so I don't fucking beer off. Anyways, bottom line, what she told me is she said, you know, people have a misunderstanding on what motivation is. What motivation is is nothing more than an idea of who you want to be 
or an idea of what you want to do. That's motivation. So, so people are misunderstood when they say, Derek, I want to be fit, but I don't have the motivation. It's like, no, you have the motivation. You're lacking something else. And, and what people um, were, so people are confusing it. Motivation, like that's a cool thing. Motivation is nothing more than an, as having an idea of who you want to be or, or, or something you want to do. That's motivation. So if you have this idea and every, so every motherfucking buddy who doesn't suck, I mean, I, there, there's people out there that are so stupid that they lack any and all ambition, you know, uh, but everybody has an idea of who they want to be, has an idea of, of something they want to do. That's motivation. And it makes sense that that's motivation, you know, like that's motivation. So what comes next? Discipline, Drive. work ethic yeah like like discipline like drive is kind of a yeah drive so drive might be the thing so here's what people like here's where people go wrong they think motivation is that good feeling because like there are so like so like so people think motivation is that feeling you have for the next five minutes after you watch rocky four that you know like that good feeling that shit is rare as fuck if i you know and it's so, so like that's, that's what people think motivation is that good feeling, that feeling when we, you know, we feel positive more like we can fucking take on the world that, that feeling of confidence, like, fuck yeah, I want to do this. Well, that shit doesn't happen very often because, you know, life is difficult. Obstacles stand in your way. You're like, I want to fucking train and be fit. Well, what happens after your second workout after five years? You are fucking sore. You feel like you got hit by a bus. Bye bye. Good feelings, you know, and that's where fucking discipline um, comes in and work ethic, you know, it's like, you know, I, but it's so dude, me and Stacy, we, we get a kick out of it. Like there's this, there's not much as far as like, it's so common for people now to say, I don't always feel like getting up in the morning and doing the work, but I do the work anyways. It's just like, that's a clap. It's, but like, whereas it's true, it's so fucking annoying for people. It's become, it's just, it's become a cliche thing now, you know? Where people are like, I don't always want to do the work, but I do the work anyways. It fucking annoys the shit out of me, but that's the truth. It is the truth. You know, it's like, nope, I, I don't know. I don't know. It, life isn't just sitting around eating ice cream, getting your dick sucked. No. You know, like there's work, but, it, but, it, but, but life, is about, life is about problems. Like you can have good problems or bad problems. Like my problems with like, so like you say you have a goal and your, your problem like in reaching that goal is like maybe you're, you know, like your body is sore, but your body hurts when you're a fat piece of shit too. So it's like, it, it, the, I guess the point is, is like it, everybody has motivation. It has an idea of who they want to be. So what comes next? fucking discipline you know like you have to you have to have like so you got motivation make a fucking plan hot like what is and so here's a funny thing like what is it so okay somebody's like all right my motivation is to weigh 205 pounds and be at eight percent body fat that's just a fucking you know and they're currently sitting at you know 380 pounds and so they're like, okay, that's my, that's my motivation. That's my goal, you know, is to get down to 205, 8% body fat. Then next is your plan. What do you have to do to get there? You know, it's like, so, you know, I have to, okay, like I got to sign up at a gym. I need a fucking training program. They're available on DerekWhite.com, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Savage Saturday sponsored by me, motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, um, you know, I gotta, I gotta, you know, I gotta look into diets or, uh, you know, I gotta change my nutrition. And so here's a big fucking thing, man. Um, there is a huge difference. There, like, so we're, what are we taught as a society? Never fucking quit. Always accomplish your goal. There are good times to quit. And there's like, so there's a huge difference. There's a fucking huge difference between, um, you know, like accomplishing a goal and becoming the person that you have to be that's required to accomplish that goal. Mm -hmm. You know, so here's here's my, you know, so like, you know, some people are like, I want to have a six pack, but like maybe that doesn't fit your fucking values. Maybe like, okay, you be healthier and fit. Great. But maybe having a six pack doesn't fit your fucking core values because you like to enjoy your life more than a person with a six pack, you know, or like, but that's not, or that's not your definition of a good life. Like you want to be healthy and fit, but you want to have a sixer and a hot dog on a Tuesday afternoon at 11 a.m. You know, like, you know, so there's a difference between, 
um, like there's a, you have to understand the difference between like your end goal and the person you have to become to accomplish that goal. So the big one for me is like, I fucking, you know, like I would love to be a fucking musician. Okay. Like I would love, I, I, you know, I have all these visions and fantasies about me playing on stage and stuff like that, how fun that would be. But I've learned that I don't want to be the person that I have to be in order to accomplish that. Because like in my, my music brain, I'm a fucking, I, I drink a lot and I'm very sad. And like, there's fucking like, you know, and the one, you know, the one is gasoline on the other, you know? Mm. So I don't, and like, whereas that's fun for me to do like one or two months every year or two, you know, like I can't live that way. And so it's like, I have to, uh, you know, people are like, oh, you're giving up on your dreams. Like, yeah, I am. But it's, it's smart and it's healthy. It's the right thing to do. You know, it's like we can't we can't accomplish everything. So it's like, what do we want to what do we want to what do we want to accomplish? And then a big fucking question to answer. Sorry, I hit the a big question to answer is, do I want to be the person that I have to be in order to accomplish that? And that that's the big thing right there. And what was I? Um, you know, Stacy, uh, you know, you, you have to be willing to do whatever it takes. You have to be willing to do whatever it takes. So like, here's here's the, here's my goal. Here's the end result. This is what it takes. Am I willing to do what it takes? And like Stacy, actually yesterday, this is, it's kind of cool. Like Stacy listens to podcasts on her way to work. And there's this one podcast called The Happiness Lab. Okay. And it's, you know, I like when we're talking about psychology things, I like to get my information from psychologists. I really do. I fuck, you know, like, you know, like in the world of social media, it's nice to hear from a psychologist once in a while. That's a, a yeah, for real. Or like just, you know, these, you know, like that's what, you know, like the entrepreneur social media world, it's fucking, it's people talking psychology who don't understand psychology. And, the, and like, and like, yes, does, does going to college make you smart? No, it produces idiots too. But like, if you got a fucking eight year doctorate in psychology, I think you know more than Joe Schmuck, who's been investing in apartments for five years. And now, yeah, yeah, for real, you know? So anyways, I like, I like getting my psychology uh, information from psychologists. And so, and this happiness lab is like um, the woman's in the field. And um, the other day she had this, um, the one Stacy had me listen to the other day it was about you know the positive effects of negative thinking and um which is it, it was so it was it was cool for me stacy was telling me what the podcast was about and i just like i was getting warm and fuzzies because i was like i feel so fucking validated <laughs> because this is what i've learned over the last two years just naturally progressing as an as a as a as a person and an athlete you know it's like i feel validated by science which you know, like, you know, in the fitness world, I've, I've moved away from science because it fucking annoys me because it changes every year, you know, and I like to, you know, um, I think, I think some good old fashioned grit can get you far, but it's nice to be validated by science once in a while. But anyways, Michael Phelps coach, um, or, you know, Mike, Michael Phelps coach up until his 23rd Olympic gold medal or something like that. He was one of the guests on the podcast. And, and, and when it talks about like accomplishing goals, his thing to say is it takes what it takes. And that's what it takes. It takes what it takes. So getting back to what I was saying, it's like you have your goal, you have your end result. It takes what it takes. It takes what it takes. And we don't, we don't know what that is, but it's going to take what it takes. And if you're not willing to do that, like you, you have to ask yourself, are you willing to do that? Because if you're not, that's, then okay, that's not you. That's all right. Yeah. You're like, shit, fuck. Because like, again, like I would love to be, a lot of times I feel like I'm giving up on myself by not pursuing a career in music. Um, and, and maybe I will in some way someday, but it's still, I, I don't feel it's safe for me. I don't feel it's healthy. I don't feel like it's safe. And so, you know, but it like, it calls to me yeah. when I go to a concert, I'm like, God, I fucking want to do this. I fucking love this. I want to do it. I could do it. I could be, I could do it. I could be good at it. I, I, I really, I think I, you know, I could pay my rent doing it at least, but, uh, I'm not. I don't want to be the person I have to be to accomplish that goal. So like getting back to it, like we started with motivation. Now we're on our plans and we have to ask ourselves real fucking questions. Uh, do we want to do what it takes to accomplish the goal? You know, so, you know, people's motivation, their idea of who they want to be. So many people want a six pack. It is fucking hard. Like <laughs> start, start for something. I, I like to teach. I like to, you know, <laughs> hmm. Get the easy win. Yeah, well, you know what? 
it's such a stupid goal in my opinion anyways because there's there's more there's there's more fun ways to approach fitness i believe in like tangible goals like go for some performance based shit like kevin from the whiter group who um like he just did a spartan race like dude like he was have you seen kevin kevin eating around and so dude he was a fucking Holy fuck. I never really saw him with his shirt off. And he, he didn't start posting pictures until his transformation started happening. You know, like looking back at his day one photos, it was like, God damn, dude. You're, you know, like you're the, you're the girl on Instagram that's picture always comes from the chin up. You know, like that's, that's pretty bad. But he's been fucking killing it, killing it, killing it. And he's got, he's, I'm trying to fucking steer him away from all the data, but he did do a fucking Spartan. And so that, that, that's been his goal is like a tangible goal. You know, he's been training for the last six months and it, and it, and it gives you that good feeling that, you know, people misunderstand motivation for that good feeling. But if you have a fucking goal and a performance goal tricks your brain so much more, it makes it more fun, you know? Man. Yeah. Cause it's like, cause it's like, cause you're like, I just want to have a six pack. It's like every day you wake up and you don't have a six pack yet. You're not, you're just, you're just like, fuck, 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 fuck. But when you're training for a performance, it's like every day you, do, every time you do a good workout, you're like, I'm, the, I'm closer. I'm closer. I just got better. That was you know? Today, right? Did it long yeah. Mm -hmm. Perform it. And so actually, we ran a nonprofit for a few years um, um, called The Next Objective. It was a veterans nonprofit. And that's exactly the, like, the next objective. That's exactly, we helped people, you know, pick four to six month goals. Like, what do you want to do in four to six months? It's got to be like a competition mm -hmm. or a race or a participation in something. What do you want to do? Okay. Do you need equipment? Do you need training? What do you need? And we like, so it's like, what's your next objective? Yep. Always have. So goals, trick your brain you you like everything you do in life you have to fucking you have to dummy proof your fucking brain your own brain is your worst enemy because like all our brains want to do and it's, it's so it's funny it's like those you know we're talking about like feeling good and feeling bad like exercise is fucking tough and your brains do not want to do it I, you know like go to like look at the animal world Motherfucker is like, you know look at like people are like well i want to be a lion okay all right what does a lion do they fucking go eat and then they sit around they're not like, you know, they're not doing push-ups or like, you know, like they're not physic they're not doing physical training. They just are what they are and they can do what they do. You know, like go to the zoo and look at the fucking gorillas. What are they doing? Just chilling, man. They're not like fucking doing bicep curls with trees and shit like that. I you know, scared little kids. Mhm. So like physical physical training for physical training is in itself more than human. You're you're trying to do something more than human. And it's, and it's going to take, it's going to take some fighting yourself, you know? So, um, man, I'm getting sweaty. Like coffee makes me sweat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyways, it's like you're, you're in your, in, in the pursuit of your fitness goals, you're not going to feel good. Just accept that. Like, and, and get used to living there. Like, cause it's really like, <laughs> It's, but that's that's real, you know. It's 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 the truth. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, and and it's just it is. So like when when the when Michael Phelps coach says it takes what it takes, that's what it takes. It you know like you want to fucking you want to be healthy and fit. It takes you feeling bad and doing shit anyways. That's literally what it takes. It's not it's not commendable. It's not it doesn't matter. It, there's no applause. Nobody gives a fuck. Okay, that's what it takes. And are, you're willing to do it or you're not. You know, so it takes what it takes. I fucking love that, Stacy. Um, I, and actually, so I don't listen to podcasts. I'm a, I'm a plug it again. It's called the Happiness Lab. On my own accord, last night. You know, usually I listen to music when I do dishes and stuff. Mm -hmm. I put another episode of that podcast on. Did you like it? Was yeah, it, was it, was it the first one? yeah, yeah. So like, you know, so it's it's the Happiness Lab, and it's a little bit. I I was a psychology major, and I dropped out of college because I just got tired of it. Okay. Like some of their studies aren't studies. Like some some psychological research that I was reading in college is like basically this. So, you know, you you randomly capture five. You, so like say you randomly capture ten spiders and seven of them are brown. Somebody would go write a fucking paper saying that seventy percent of spiders are brown, but all you did was capture ten spiders. Like you know, <laughs> so sometimes that's psycho psychology research. Yeah. Like research shows like shut the fuck up. You fucking sampled fifty people, and these aren't even people. They're they're fucking 19 year old college kids yep. signing up for this experiment. Okay. And they know what they're doing. And they're like, most of them are pieces of fucking shit, whiny bitches anyways. You know, like, 
people who you know, so like like one of the you know, Stacy was telling me about it, and like you know, I try to I try to be a good husband and listen, but sometimes she she was telling me this thing, and I was just like. I'm dying inside because one of their one of their experiments was like one group of people was told to eat 30 M&Ms and the other group of people was told to put a coin in a jar while thinking about eating 30 M&Ms and it turns out the people who had to eat the M&Ms were less satisfied. It's like, what the <laughs> fuck? What the fuck is this giving us an insight into like fucking human nature? If it if if there's something there and I'm just not smart enough to understand what's going on, but that's why like the last paper I wrote in college was it was called Science is the New Jesus cuz people just like buy into this stuff, you know? If I fucking if I have to hear the name Kitty Genovese one more fucking time, if you don't know who she is, don't don't go don't don't go for a social um, social sciences degree in school. It's fucking stupid. Anyways. Mm -hmm. mm. But anyways, that podcast is called The Happiness Lab. And we'll get back to the point here. Um, I'm talking about motivation and, and things like that. So, so everybody fucking has motivation. Like unless you're stupid, you have motivation. All right. You lack something else. And that's fine. Like, we, you know, like things to work on. When I say lack, it was like, you just don't have it yet. Like, that's fine. But like, and what did we, we talked about it the other week? Like, be honest with yourself. What do you lack? Is it discipline? Probably. Because discipline, that's when, that's where it comes in. Like, it takes what it takes. It takes what it takes. So you think, and like, I'm just going to use myself an example and I'm not complaining. I don't give a shit. Like, fuck me, fuck my problems. But no. I don't want to, I'm in pain all the time. Like my fucking, it, it hurts to put my leg on like, it, you know, it's Friday. You know, last, last week's podcast, like the, the, I drank a lot. And then on Saturday I had a little bit of junk food. My leg didn't fit until like yesterday. So Monday, Tuesday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, my leg was just fucking swollen. Explain that because I don't think people understand so like, swelling. Yeah, so like stomach. sugars, sugars make it, so like my stump it's like, that's if I can, my water retention is in my stump and sugars from alcohol make my stump swell. And then like junk food will make me swell. There's things that make your body swell, like flying makes my stump swell. Humidity makes my stump swell. Alcohol makes my stump swell. And, and, and food, not even so much. Alcohol is huge. Alcohol is huge. And right now my socket is so fucking tight because I've gained eight pounds so that it's so fucking tight when I'm squatting. It stays my, my, uh, my, the, the seal in my suction and the seal in my socket stays. So I'm like, I can't gain an ounce. So it was just like, it's fucking painful, but I trained through it. And it's, you know, like, that's like, cause it's discipline. It's like this, I know my goal. I know my goal. And I like, we have our plan. The plan is my training program. And so I look at everything on that training program. That's what it takes. That's what I have to do. It's not a negotiable thing. It's like, I have my goal. I have, I, and, and then we have the plan and that's what it, t and, and so doing the plan is what it takes, you know, doing, doing every set, every rep, um, the eating, the water, the rest, that's what it takes. And I do, and like it, it's tough. But, you know, I chose that goal and I'm seeing it through because I actually do want to accomplish uh, what, what I set out to accomplish, you know. And so it's difficult. Yeah. And nobody gives a shit. So what? So like, and really nobody gives a fuck because everybody, you have your goals and you're fucking sucking your way through it, you know. But <laughs> just, what if you could just suck your way through life? Some people do. <laughs> <laughs> Mm hmm. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's, but I, I think when I, when, when I learned that what motivation, when she told me that and she's like, motivation is nothing more than an idea of who you want to be. I was like, damn, that makes a lot of sense. It really does make a lot of sense, you know? So like what, what, so then what comes after is people, people, you know, people want that good feeling all the time. And you just, you just like, those are like once, maybe once a week, I go into a workout where I'm like clear headed and stuff like that, because it's impossible to feel good all the time. Like, you know, even this week, my workouts are easy and my head has just been dude. like, we have so many fucking things to think about. You know, Owen and I are running this business by ourselves and we don't, you know, we don't know what we're doing and it's a, it's a learning experience and there's growing pains and, and every month is like day one for us almost. It's like, okay, like February was good. How are we going to make money next month? Cause we got to fucking, we, you know, 
and there's a lot of things to think about. And so it, it did, yeah. So it's like the point is like, yes, okay, it's it's tough. So the fuck what? That's you know, like you want to be like, do you want to be tough? You know, people <laughs> people write me when people write me and they're like, hey man, I don't have motivation. I don't know what to do. I'm just like, okay, all right. When you think about yourself, do you want to fucking be proud of your choices? Or do you want to know that you're a fucking pussy? That life is difficult and instead of stepping up, you're just like being a little bitch and backing down. Like you are fucking, you are literally being a pussy right now. And I can say this to other people because this is my self-talk. And I have to do this with myself all the time. It's like, holy shit, Derek, you're being a fucking pussy, dude. Like you are being a whiny ass little fucking bitch. That's fucking, that's pathetic. Change that shit. I'm like, oh, okay, Derek. This is how I talk to myself, you know? And and so, like, I talk to other people. I'm not trying to be mean when I'm saying, but, like, you know, a fucking 34-year-old dude will write me. He's like, you know, I've been a fucking cop for 18 years. Guy, like, pe- these people who seeming, who, who want to come off as they have pride. And I'm just like, you're being a fucking pussy. Like, you are being a fucking pussy. Like, what the fuck, dude? Like, why are you 34 years old? And you, 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 you want the world to think that you're a respectable man, but like you're, you're, you're being a little bitch. And so, okay, that's fine. That's fine. We accept that and move forward. But we can't, we can't sit there and lie to ourselves all the time. Like I'm, I'm, I'm a fucking hard ass man, you know? Cause like, no, you're, you're a pussy. So it's like when people are like, I, I, you know, right now when people write me and they're like, there's things I want to do. I just don't have the motivation. It's like, all right, dude, do you want to be the shit or do you want to be a bitch? It's really like, that's it. Because if you want to be the shit, you got to do the things that somebody who is the shit does. Or, you know, a different word for that is like, you know, I like to say to people's like, what would a fucking champion do? What would a champion do? What would like, how would it, would a champion, would a champion skip their workout? Would a champion skip their training? Would a champion eat that fucking bowl of ice cream? Would a fucking champion, if, if a fucking champion wouldn't do it, then nine out of ten times, don't do it, you know? Sometimes people need to break down their goals into smaller achievable goals, mm-hmm. too. Instead of being like, I want to lift in a powerlifting competition, maybe make the goal, I want to show up for every workout this week. Yeah. And make it more achievable. Yeah, no, that's, dude, like, yeah, so... Um, so I guess so. I we'll wrap up motivation. I think I said what I wanted to say there. Like, but like it's a cool thing. Like motivation is a fucking no. Because I want to get into goals. Um, motivation, guys. No, none of you are lacking motivation. Unless you're a fucking potato, you have motivation. Okay, you just need um, a little, maybe perhaps more discipline, more work ethic. But everything falls under discipline. Literally everything falls under discipline. Drive, work ethic, things like that. It falls under discipline. But you know, like you have motivation. So. Ask yourself, do you, you know, if your motivation is like, I want to be this person, do you really? Not just do you want to, do you want the outcome? Do you want to become the person you have to be to accomplish that goal? If the answer is no, accept that, okay? But if the answer is yes, then fucking it takes what it takes. And I stole that from the Happiness Lab and Michael Phelps coach, but like that's what, you know, it's, you know, humans have been around for a long time. There's no such thing as an original thought anymore. Uh, <laughs> somebody's already thunk it. We're still trying to figure it out. But anyways, that's, that's, that's the end of my rant on motivation. You guys have motivation. Just stop being fucking bitches about it. <laughs> yeah. So goals. Goals are funny. Goals are a tricky thing, man. Um, and, uh. And what you, what you said, you were like, people should make their goals simple and things like that. And just break them down. Yeah. Down. So here's, I, I want to start off by fucking, you know, with goals. There was something that blew my mind like three years ago. Um, what, what, did, what did people tell us to do when we have goals? Write down your goals. Write down your goals. Write down your fucking goals. And so I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a story and then I'll, and I'll go backwards. Um, so I was, you know, uh, when I eat food, I like to watch uh, TED Talks and things like that sometimes. It's better than, you know. Um, but anyways, I, was, I, 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 I looked for it. I wanted to give this person credit, but I couldn't fucking find it. And I don't remember. But anyways, I watched this TED Talk and it was a, a female. And she said, like, one of the worst things you can do if you want to accomplish something is write it down it's like writing down your goals and so it, it's funny like i'm gonna explain it the best i can your brain doesn't know the difference between fucking like accomplishing a goal and thinking about what it'll like to what it'll be like to accomplish that goal your brain doesn't know the difference and so it's actually so it's like don't write down your goals because you get that instead like when you when you want to accomplish something you have a burning desire 
to be better. And you, you're like, I want to do the work. I want to become better. But when you write down that goal, you get that euphoric feeling that you've already accomplished that. So when you, when you feel accomplished, what do you want to do? You know, it takes away from that burning desire. You know, it really does. And so like looking back, dude, and this is like when we talk about fitness with people and I say it's like trying to teach you mistakes I made. Uh, So I used to, I swear to fuck, dude, for, you know, 10 years, I was the most emotionally unstable fucking fitness person there was. Every fucking Sunday, I would buy a new notebook. And that was this, it was going to, this time it was going to stick, you know, like this time I was going to write my goals on the first page and I was going to journal my workouts and my food and things like that. And my goals were like, you know, um, like every, every Sunday I was like, quit chewing tobacco, eat X, Y, Z, super clean shit, you know, uh, accomplish this, accomplish this, accomplish this. And by Tuesday I would have one minor fuck up and I would throw the journal away. And I'd be like, and like for real. And so I'll throw the journal away because it's impure now. Like that, that journal, that journal is tainted with failure. Okay. And so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I'm just like, fuck it. I'll start over again. Sunday, Sunday is my start over day. And so I just like shit, shit, shit. And like, mind you, I'm always, I was always working out, but I was just like, I was, it was, it, no, nothing felt good. I was just trying to get to Sunday so I could cleanse myself again in a way. And I'd buy that fucking notebook and I'd write it down and do like looking like, so to what this woman said, she's like, you know, it, it makes you feel accomplished when you write those goals on. I felt so fuck looking back. I can remember how good I felt writing these goals down. You know, like that was, that was my, that was my, that was my release. It was like a climactic experience. It was my release. And, and so I was like, fuck, that makes a lot of sense, you know? And what do I do now? Just naturally. I don't write down shit. And I like I know what my goals are and I'm just kind of like I'm not lackadaisical about it. I just I like, you know, what we were saying like, okay, like I have my goal. We made our plan, and now I'm just doing every day what I need to do to get there. And it takes, you know, it it takes effort and things like that, but it's I know what I need to do and I'm doing it. And I'm not sitting here stressing over every fucking minor detail and things like that. And so it's funny, man, like the less serious I take my goals, the more I seem to accomplish. So back then I wasn't accomplishing. Well, like I was good, but I wasn't, I wasn't healthy mentally. That's for sure. Cause I was really hung up on any failure. Mm-hmm. And that's, and so like journaling with food and like, dude, and so like, you know, every, everybody, I, I saw a post yesterday. Did you know that it's. National Eating Disorder Week. What the fuck? I know. Like, dude, like, I, like, look, like, looking back, fucking 100% 10 years eating disorder. So what? Maybe that's called fucking being human. Maybe that's called being in your 20s. Maybe that's called being fucking stressed out. All right? Like, who the fuck doesn't have an eating disorder when they're 21 and broke? Okay? Yeah, for real. So, like, okay, so for my thing, but my, my, my thing was like a, I, I did, you know, so it's like I had, I would write every fucking Sunday for years, you know, and it was just always, you know, I'd write these goals, but then I'd fuck up. And then, um, you know, I would, I would, I would crash diet. And so I would, I would like, I was starving and I'm in my twenties and you're burning a bunch of calories just from how many times you masturbate a day, you know? So it's like, uh, my body was starving and I was trying to eat clean. So I'd be fucking ripped, you know? And then what would happen? Boom. Just fucking binge, you know, and it's like chips and pizza and ice cream and candy bars and just a fucking stomach ache. And like, I would go spend $30 at the grocery store, $30 on credit. Cause I didn't have any fucking money, but you know, like that's how emotionally unstable I was. And I'd come home and I'd eat, you know, half of it and then throw the rest away, you know? And then do like, this is how fucking unhealthy, like no shit. This is how unhealthy it was. I would take like diuretics. Like I would take like Ducalax to like just fucking shit it all out the next day and punish myself in the gym. Yeah. So like all these fucking little f- bitches that want to talk about, you know, like how they're mentally unstable and they just have common people problems. It's like, where the fuck were you? You know, like, you know, like, yeah, but I was taking everything so fucking seriously back then and any minor fuck up, minor fuck up, I would punish, you know, or I would just, you know, so it's like, oh, okay, I had a cookie and I hate myself so much. I turned it into a hundred cookies, a pizza, two things of ice cream instead of just like, so, but that's, that's one of the reasons I don't snack now is like, I don't do anything just in life in general. I'm not a moderation guy. I'm not a moderation guy. Like 
I don't chew tobacco. I chew six cans of tobacco a day. You know, like, yeah. But so it's like, I know this about myself. You can't, you can't fix everything about yourself. You fucking can't. And you shouldn't have to, you know, you just have to learn to navigate the world by being you. It's like, you know, um, so I, I, I'm not a snacker because I, I just like I don't just have one chip, and we said this before. I don't just have one beer. That's some bitch ass fucking weak person behavior, you know. So, but um, you know, so but so back then I was making all the fucking mistakes, and I was just but but like in I don't I don't care. I'm not hard on myself, and like look, you know, I did I, when I was 21 years old. I got shot, and you know, like I kind of had a I was going through some shit, all this fucking shit, and it was just. It was rough, dude. It was it was rough. And and looking back, it all makes sense. I was your classic case of, you know, fucking mentally unstable, mentally unhealthy. And now, you know, as as I get like now my like now I I accomplish it is what it is. I accomplish anything I want. If I actually want to accomplish it, I do. I do because I don't fucking care. Or I like it's like or I'm not stressed out about it. I'm not dude like so say like what is what is my max deadlift right now? Like maybe four forty, and I would like to hit um, or so week nine. I my program says four sixty to four eighty. Can I do that today? I don't think so. And and so like like don't no, dude like four sixty is a lot. For okay, for, for no for one. for one. Yeah, but getting that dude I, like so let's say let's say five hundred. I would like to deadlift five hundred pounds someday. Can I do it today? No. Then my but I I don't care. Or, you know, I'm on my way, you know, and, and, um, and say I show up on Monday and my workout goes super poorly. I'll be like, oh, that happens. It's all right. You know, cause like one day there's 365 days in a year. One doesn't determine. But back then I thought one, I thought every fucking day mattered. And it does and it doesn't. It does and it doesn't. It does in that you should, you should, you know, try your best every day. But if you fuck up. So what? It's because you love the process. Yeah, yeah. So, but I guess, yeah. And I think I talked about this in the wider group, like patience. I had no patience back then. And so, dude, like the thing is, is how I lived for 10 years is how the the, uh, the, the people who are listening to this podcast because they need help, the people who ask me for help, I was them for 10 years. And I, like, so it's like, I get it. And, and, and I talk to the people the way I talk to them because... You know, um, that's my self talk now. I like the advice I give people is the advice I give myself when I'm being a little fucking bitch about something, you know, (laughs) it's like, so I know it works because I have to do it to me daily, you know? Um, but you know, it's, uh, but so when we're talking about goals, it's like, I, I fucking loved that. It's like writing goals down is so, and so I don't do that anymore. And I believe in it. I believe in, I believe I like, if you have a goal and there's an old saying, it's like, you know, um, you know, telling the gods your plan is a good way to make them laugh at you. Like whatever you want to do, keep it to yourself almost, or like not, not, not keep it to yourself, but don't fucking, um, don't, don't sit down on a Sunday and tell the internet, be like, okay, this is what I'm going. I have, I have exciting news, you know, just like, just shut the fuck up and, and, and chip away at your shit every motherfucking day. So we got, you know, so it's like, Pick your goal. Like, just pick it. You know, pick your goal. Make it a fucking a realistic goal. Something you you can accomplish in like four to six months. You know, um, and and then like again, ask yourself. You know, so so pick your goal. Make a plan. So for something like you know, for fitness and stuff like that, your plan is your training program. Your plan is is like roughly what you're going to be eating. It's like you know, and I have to okay, you're like shit. I probably should get a massage once or whatever. You have a fucking plan. A plan is a training program. Okay, um, and then and then ask yourself, do I fucking really want to do this? Do I want to be the person? Like, do I want to be the person that I have to be in order to accomplish this goal? If the answer is yes, then you fucking commit. You fully fucking commit. And like, so that's like, if you have a goal, oof, here we go. Here's, we'll talk about commitment, okay? In fitness, where do fucking people fuck up? So if you have a, pick a goal that you can do in four to six months, and then you 100% commit until that goal is accomplished, okay? And then you can look back and be like, do I want to continue living this way? Okay, but here's what fucking people do in fitness. And, and people are like, dude, this is so fucking common. People are like, all right, I want to get fucking shredded. 
was like, okay. And so they fucking diet and for like three days. And then what happens? Their bench press goes down five pounds. And then they feel fucking sad and weak. And so they lose focus and they're like, fuck, I'm going to bulk. Dudes do this all the time. They're fucking horrible. And so, and so it's funny. Like bros have this mentality, but so do thick women. Thick women who like are really into strength. They, you know, um, and like a lot, a lot, like they're, you know, a little bit overweight, but they really, they judge themselves by their strength. They're like, I want to fucking lose weight. I was like, all right, cool. Here's what you need to do. They're like, okay, but I don't want to lose strength. Like, eh, not possible. Like that's like, you know, it, it like you're going to like, if you get smaller, so it, it, it's possible. It's just like, you have to be ready to accept that you're going to lose some strength, you know? So people pick a goal, but there's you know, there's negative consequences to everything. There's, there's consequent or there's not negative. Like, let's just say there's consequences to everything. You know, if your goal is to fucking maximize your strength potential, you're gonna g get a little fatter. You should, you know, there's outliers out there that are fucking like, like Larry, there's a guy named Larry wheels who is just, he's, he's big and he's fucking jacked and he's got 12 abs and he's the strong, he's strong, he's fucking, he's, he benched 650 the other day. And he, he's not a super heavyweight looking guy. He, like, the dude's got, like, maybe 8, 9% body fat, tops. Uh, he's a monster. So, like, those are outliers. Yeah. We can't judge ourselves based on these people. Like, is it possible to fucking, you know, lose body fat and gain strength at the same time? Humanly possible, yes. Likely for 98% of the population, no. So it's like pick your goal. So like last year, people were like, how'd you lose 50 pounds? How'd you get fucking shredded? It's like, oh, I, I, I wanted to get fucking shredded and I committed. And I got weaker. And I was okay with it, you know? And so like, like last year... I like, just like everybody else, I like my, you know, I like my bench press to be like 315. But last year, all year, my goal was to lose fat. I wanted to look good and feel good again. That's it. Like my goal last year was to look good, feel good. There was no performance goal, nothing like that. So every Monday I'd go hit my fucking bench workout and I would, I would, I would do, you know, like maybe like two by five at 225 and then I would hit 255 one time. And then I would hit 275 one time. But I would always ask for a spotter at 275. I like getting a fucking lift off, you know? And so I'd be like, whoop, you know, whew, 275 and smoke it super fast. And then just rack it. And people are like, you had a lot more. I was like, I know. But I'm not eating for strength right now. Strength isn't my goal. I'm just here to like look good, feel good. 275 is good. You know, like that's no, like that's good. That's good enough for me. And it was a weird thing. And as I as I got leaner and leaner, it felt heavier and heavier. Like it was still moving, but it felt different, you know? Yeah. And all of a sudden on the incline dumbbell press, I wasn't, I was only able to get the hundreds for four. And I, like my base for myself is six. Um, and, and, and I can get it again now, but like, you know, it's a little discouraging to lose strength when, but like, but, but I stayed focused and I stayed true to my goal and I accomplished that goal. I committed, you know? So it's like when you fucking pick a fitness goal, fucking commit, fucking fully commit. And even so like right now, my goal in powerlifting, I don't, I'm, this isn't who I am. This isn't what I fully enjoy, you know? And I just want to be like, all right, I'm done. Cause like, this is, I just wanted to get a little bit stronger. You know, I am stronger than I want to be now. And I have to spend the next four and a half weeks getting even stronger. Mm -hmm. What's the point? You know, I don't like, okay, the point is I fucking, I picked a goal and I'm going to commit. I'm going to commit, you know, cause like, that's what I do. It's just what I do. All right. And then, so like come April 4th and I'm going to do my motherfucking best and I'm going to give it everything I got. But you know, on April 5th, I'm going to be like, oh, all right. I'm done. Like that's, you know, back to, back to my, like back to CrossFit, back to being leaner. Cause I gained eight pounds for this, you know, but like I'm fucking committing like, cause that's what you do. You, that's what you do. You, you, you pick a goal and you see it through and then you come back and assess. Like, did I enjoy that? Do I want to live like this forever? Or was it fun for a while? You know, but like, and there's, there's the patience thing again. So I'll spend six months doing something just to find out. I don't like it. That's you know, <laughs> Competitions as your goal instead of I want abs mm -hmm. because there's no there's no end time on I want abs there is yeah. on a powerlifting meet yeah and you know what it's like so 
Okay, and like here, yeah, and there's another like difference between performance based goals and aesthetic goals. If you're if you're if you're if you're training for performance, aesthetically you're gonna look better. Like if you're training for like. I mean, unless you're training to be a sumo wrestler or a, or, a, or a powerlifter that like, you know, like in, in most like endurance training, classic training and CrossFit, if you're training for performance, you're going to, your aesthetics are going to get better as a fucking consequence, you know, but the, um, so say you fucking pick a performance goal and you're like, I want to do a competition or, or if it's something simple, like I want to hit a 315 bench. Okay. The euphoria you feel from accomplishing that goal is a lot different than being the person looking at themselves in the mirror. Like, what is that? If your goal is, if your goal is be like, I want to have a six pack, what do you do when you accomplish that? You just like look at yourself a lot, or it's not, it's different. Like, dude, like I'm not, I don't want to shit on that too much. Like, I look at myself a lot. Like, my, just like Arnold said, my body is a sculpture. And, like, you know, people will see me looking in the mirror, maybe they'll think it's vain. But what I'm doing is seeing things to work on, you know? So, but, but, you know, it's like, say you want to, say you're like, say you're fat right now and you're like, I want to run a tough mutter. That's a fucking 10 plus mile course. Like, the euphoria. Uh, the euphoria you're going to feel. So these are just things I know the euphoria you're going to feel from accomplishing a goal like that versus what you're going to feel by getting a six pack. It's just different, man. And I'm telling you performance is better. It feels so much fucking better. Like I would, you know, I would like to look, I would like to look better. I really would. I would like to, I would like to have like eight abs instead of four, you know, but, um, a little, a little bit more fat helps me perform better. And like, I fucking, you know, it, it is what it is. And so actually in like 2015, 2016, I was, I was competing and doing very poorly or not, not poorly. I wasn't doing as good as I wanted to do because I was so concerned with how I looked. I was, and I was fucking dude, I was fucking shredded. And I would like what I wore at the competition was, was, um, determined by how I wanted to look. And now what I wear is determined by how I want to feel or what's going to help me perform. You know, it's just, yeah, performance goals. I, I believe in them. I believe in them, you know, and that's why I like, uh, like, you know, bodybuilding and, and like bodybuilding as a, as a sport and me just kind of not on the same page, you know, but, um, <laughs> anyways, uh, I think, uh, yeah, so, so, so the big takeaways from today, I think things that I wanted to get across is like when it comes to motivate, you know, go back to motivation, like what is motivation? Motivation is nothing more than an idea of who you want to be. Okay. So you have motivation. All right. You've got to work on the other things. So don't write me and say, Derek, I don't have motivation. Cause I know you do. You have to write me and say, Derek, I don't have discipline. Derek, I don't have a work ethic. Derek, you like be honest with me, motherfucker. You know, because like then, like if you're honest with yourself, then you can move forward. Do you lack discipline? Are you being a fucking whiny little bitch about your problems? Okay, if you are, that's okay. That fucking happens. I get like I catch myself being a whiny little bitch all the fucking time. All right, but like that's I'm self aware and and I I'm not like I don't beat myself up because I'm being a bitch that day. I was like, all right, Derek, we gotta fucking make it through. Okay, like what what can we do? What can we do to change your mood? What can we? It's like maybe it's like you know turn my phone off, do the dishes, uh, light a fucking vanilla scented candle. Do you know, you just fucking change. You just, you, there's, you know, don't just sit around and be like, all right, I'm being a whiny little bitch. And that's, you know, like, fuck, fuck. Yeah. Fuck my life. Fuck this world. Fuck everybody. Fuck. It's like, mm, how can you change your, how can you change your mind? Like, stop, you know, if like if your fucking brain is a train and it's just going to go crash, like, how do you fucking slow that train down? There's, there's tricks, you know, and I just gave you my tricks, like phone off, do the dishes. Um, I like to, uh, Last night I put on the Sweeney Todd album. Music is a good way to change your fucking mood. You have to be careful with music because it can either be uh, like throwing gasoline on your depressed fire or, you know. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, you, you have motivation, okay? You, it, but you, 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 Discipline is difficult. It, it, it's difficult. These are difficult things, okay? And I say this all the time, like we're, we're trying to be more than human. All right. So give yourself some credit if you're even slightly okay at these things, because you're better than you're meant to be already. Okay. Discipline is difficult. Drive, work ethic, all these things. It's tough. Life is tough. 
Nobody cares. Shut up. Do it. <laughs> like you know. And then with goals, um, you know, I think I think big big takeaways with goals is like make clear and concise goals. Everybody knows that. But I believe in tangible goals. Something you can go do an event or a competition or a participation, something like that. I'm telling you, they're more fun to train for. They're more rewarding. And you're gonna fucking look better, look look better, and feel better as a consequence. And 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 so um and and uh you know kind of look into I, I, if I can find that TED talk, I'll share it. Be, um because the, the the psychology of writing your goals down is so, is fucking it, it was so interesting to me. Like be be fucking don't don't beat yourself up so much. And any of all this like those mistakes I made for ten years when I was writing those goals down, I was just I was trying too hard. The harder I tried, the worse I did. The more I enjoyed myself doing you know the more i enjoyed myself every day the better i do and now like i can accomplish whatever i want because i have i have the patience i have the patience so you know um i think uh i think that's i gotta i gotta take a piss we're at you know we're at a good time to stop here. That was that was pretty ranty today, guys. I, I like you know. I think this podcast will kind of do that sometimes. Like I just like I love I love fucking talking shit and laughing and being fucking stupid. But you know, I I, I would every once in a while maybe I'll get a little um, more serious and actually try to help you out. So yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. I do care. I do care. I do care. Um, but that's 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 all I got. Um, uh, for today. Um, thanks for joining us for another week of Savage Saturdays here on the Drinking Bros podcast. Once again, um, I'm going to plug my shit. That's a weird thing to say because there's, yeah. But uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go, I'm going to plug myself here. If, if you're not watching, the, if you were watching the YouTube video, you'd see what we're talking about. But, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, we, we offer training programs on our website, DerekWhited.com. They're fucking good training programs. People are doing them. People are liking them. Uh, I, I sound like Donald Trump when I talk about it. It's like, like a lot of people are doing it. A lot they're of people are like, they're the best. They're the best. They're the best. But like, I don't fucking, I'm very uncomfortable talking about it, but it's true. Like fucking thousands of people. And, and I don't, I don't I, like, to me, it feels like bragging when I'm like, you know, a lot of people are doing our training. It's like, it feels like bragging and I don't like bragging, but it's true. It's like what fucking it's, it's thousands of people thousands. are doing the training yep. and the feedback is, is just, it's, it's fucking awesome. It's, it's so good. There's, there's, you know, like there's people who haven't worked out in five years doing the 12 week program. Um, because like the 12 week program is so fucking versatile people, you know, people haven't been doing, uh, haven't worked out in two years are like, can I do the 12 week program? I'm like, yeah, because it's all fucking percentage based. It's like you, it, it is, it is designed to be done at you where like your ability and where you start in week one, it, like week two builds week three builds. It's we're like the program isn't just to make like, it's a building program. We are literally going to make you better. It's, you know, because, because yeah, mm-hmm. like where, where you started day one, you know, at the end of, uh, at the end of week 12, you're going to be fucking better because that's how it works and we understand how it works. And so the program works and, but then, you know, people who, th- who thought they were in shape, that's such, that's, that's my favorite one. Like, dude, I thought I was in shape until, you know, week three, day two, what the fuck was that? I'm like, yeah, yep. yeah, that was a tough day, you know, like, yeah, but like, it's tough for anybody. People thought they were working out hard and then they do this kind of training. And there's like, we're not the only ones who provide hard training or like good training, difficult training. It's just, or just saying, but I don't care what other people do. Like, it's fun to see what we created uh, benefiting other people and, and, and they're enjoying it and it's a lot of fun. So anyways, yeah, all our training programs are on DerekWhited.com. They're very cheap. They're very affordable. They're very good. A lot of people are doing them. They love them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyways, as always, I fucking love you guys. We'll catch you next week. Bye.